which makes sense. And they tried charging me for cable when I only have Wi-Fi. Nigga, who the fuck used cable in 2022? What these employees had to say. Two days after one contractor finished a job in Houston, Texas, he returned to the home to rape the 14. Whoa! 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 That caught me off guard. Electrocute her and then setting her bedroom. Nigga, what? Wait. Grape her, threw her in a bathtub, tried to electrocute her, and set her on fire. Set her bedroom on fire. <laughs> my question here, in in no minced. <laughs>
Instead, they go Bro, look, we're going to at and We're going to at and Chap, chap, chap. Like, I have, I have made up my mind. And we're leaving Comcast. And we're going to at and bro. For their actions. In fact, Comcast is so determined to come after you that they'll even do so beyond the grave. Betty shared her story online, explaining that when she called to cancel her service, a representative told her that it could only be done in her husband's name, her husband who had passed away. She tried again and got the same response until a supervisor told her to bring in her husband's death certificate to their office. Yo, what because the Because that's fuck? apparently what it takes to end your service with a cable provider, certified death. What the fuck? Oh, but you also don't even need to have Comcast <clears throat> to be the subject of one of their horror stories. The same year this laughably terrible customer service recording went viral, the one we just played at the beginning, okay. a Comcast employee was accused of stealing a Tennessee man's identity and selling it to an outside vendor, who then sent the man to collections for about $1,300. This also was not a one-time thing either. Comcast fraud has apparently happened multiple times- These niggas are scamming! The company has any <sighs> security whatsoever. It's pretty clear why just about anyone would hate dealing with them after reading just these stories alone. But the sad reality is that many have to, whether they like it or not. Chat, you gotta understand, right? I, I've been with Comcast, well, Xfinity, Comcast, same shit, same fucking company. I've been with them niggas for like, what? <clears throat> 2018 type shit, right? They they were nice as hell to me when, when, when I was applying. But like, you gotta understand, Comcast? is like the worst company when it comes to like bills or anything in general right just the other day right you like they have an app they have the xfinity app i used to i'll be using the xfinity app to close all to close every device my screen got dent in it I used the Xfinity app to close every device on my network, except for my phone, Xbox, laptop, and desktop, right? I, I used the Xfinity app to do that. But for the past three or two months now, their shit hasn't been working. I called them multiple times. And you know what they did? Instead of fixing my shit, they slowed down my speed and tried to make me buy a faster plan. They gotta have the fastest plan in their book. So like, what? Tennessee man's identity and selling it. Like, I have their fastest plan. Them niggas are just bad. For about thirteen hundred dollars. This also was not a one-time thing either. Comcast fraud has apparently happened multiple times before, leaving plenty to question if the company has any real security. Whatsoever. Them niggas have no type of security. I why just about anyone would hate dealing with them after reading just these stories alone. But the sad reality is that many have to, whether they like it or not. I try to call them as less as I can, dog. Hello and welcome to the, the employees, the good, the, the bad, the murderers. Today, we're pretty obviously going to be talking about Comcast. Fuck Comcast. This despised behemoth is pretty difficult to tear down in one day. So I do fully admit I'm probably not going to be able to address every single scandal and controversy, but I'm Fuck going Comcast. to give you the best overview I possibly can. Of course, before we get into their convoluted game of Monopoly and how Comcast may be slowing the entire country, I'm down, Comcast let's K. Talk about how they handle like, their employees. After I am Comcast K. Customers have dealt with. It's no surprise that employees don't actually have it any better either. However, the number one complaint Comcast employees have might actually surprise you. Do you want to take a guess as to what it might be? Low wages, overtime, poor management? No. Those are all valid concerns, but the biggest complaint that these workers actually have is customer service. Customer they're service. They're giving the service, right? So are they complaining about <coughs> how they do their job? And basically, yeah. Comcast wow. employees don't like how they're told to treat people. Now, I can't speak on behalf of the ones that did name changes, you know, to things like Asshole Brown or Whore Julia, but the very core of their operation is what employees seem to find most upsetting, which makes sense. And they tried charging me for cable when I only have Wi-Fi. Nigga, who the fuck I used cable in 2022? Let's see what these employees had to say. <coughs> I found an article entitled, <coughs> I was a podcast employee. I had that shit crazy. I to upsell internet to low-income people. In it, 
Chase Roper describes his experience That's what the writer fuck they Molly did. Schwartz, explaining that he had to leave Comcast in order to retain his ethics. Not just because he was trying to get people to bundle their TV, internet, and landlines, but because of the way Comcast went about it. Agents would tell potential customers that if they tried to buy the internet TV landline bundle with a speed of 100 megabits per second, it would work just as perfect as a household with an internet only app. The 100 megabits per second is what I had when I first started streaming, right? I was getting a, I was getting an average of 20 megabytes. 20 megabytes for download, 20 megabytes for upload. Sometimes even lower. <clears throat> At times, my shit was hitting 0 0.16. Like, bro, that shit was bad. Megabits per second. Customers are being convinced to sign up for slower speeds with features they potentially don't even want as opposed to a faster plan. And why would an agent And I this? asked them well, to move my Wi-Fi box somewhere. The plan, they never the did. they go through gets a much heftier commission. Essentially, they're incentivized to lie. And for Chase, these plans were especially frustrating and difficult for him to upsell during the pandemic. He only made $22,000 per year plus his commission. So the fuck? while people were frantically calling him saying that they needed faster internet to work or take classes from home, he felt pressured to pitch them a bunch of products they don't actually need or else he'd get a lower paycheck. Chase what the fuck? Schwartz from Mother Jones, quote, I didn't like how Xfinity Comcast were positioning <coughs> themselves as caring and helping and doing everything. Bro, them niggas do not like, give a fuck about you. Doing. It's business as usual. According to Chase, the programs that Comcast had for low-income families, such as the Internet Essentials program for only $9.95 a month, were utter trash. They had data limits and only 25 megabit download speed. May and look, I uninstalled Apex. I was playing Arenas, okay? Okay, you was playing Arenas and doing what? And this nigga was so shit. <laughs> Yo, when were you playing? We were playing last night. Most certainly not for a family with kids trying to take. We were we were trying to play last night, bro. But this essentials package might look helpful on the outside, and it might seem as if Comcast was trying to accomplish. Using pistols against Spitfires. COVID, but when you get down to the nitty gritty, they weren't actually offering any real. Never help. playing that and shit Comcast again. This is why Warzone's better. Chase this is why I'm starting to main Warzones. On the low cost plan, who were pressured to upgrade. The company got rid of data limits for two months to look good, then reinstated them as if the pandemic was over in May, charged everyone again, and kept making themselves look like a hero for offering like a, a low what? rate. That is Chase, crazy. Part in this this is ranked. What rank are you in? Like bronze? With people and said Silver? Really quit and have to stretch his paychecks than be a part of that. And there are many others like Chase out there too. The Verge interviewed over 100 past and current Comcast employees to hear their stories, which were, in a nutshell, that shit is crazy. One billing specialist Brian Van Horn said, "You hit gold, he and he metrics, was doing he was that." To pitch new services to customers, including customers that were already late on their bills, they were just starting off with "Just Ask." He says, then instead of "Just Ask," it was "Just Ask Again." Then engage the what? customer in a conversation, <laughs> then overcome their objectives. Another employee said that when a 90-year-old woman called to add her phone to her account, their boss said she was probably senile, but you should have upgraded her cable. These You're not reinstalling it. Anyone that wasn't <laughs> sales staff, such as Alright, we could play Warzones. There's a billing specialist being pressured to sell you. I mean, if you want to play Warzones, you can, but like, in my opinion, like, you feel me? Warzones better than Apex. Like, I got, like, dozens that were. I dead ass got tired of playing Apex, dog, bro. That shit, that shit just sucks, bro. That game fucking sucks. It sucks. For interviewed. Unfortunately, while there are good people put in bad positions, Yo, at what's Comcast, good, there are also horrible people making horrible decisions too. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little mention here that the rest of this section, which should be up. What are you talking is, about? Yo, thank you for the follow. Sexual assault and murder. So if you're not in the place to hear about that, feel free to just skip to the next section. Bro, I, bro, I don't play Fortnite, bro. I'm gonna delete it off my console. Violent acts against customers. Two days after one contractor finished a job in Houston, Texas, he returned to the home to rape the 14. Whoa! That lived Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 that caught me off guard. Nigga said, what? <laughs> whoa. <laughs>
<laughs> let's go back a little. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Violent acts against customers. Two days after one contractor finished a job in Houston. Comcast worker accused of graping girl at home where he worked. In Texas, he returned to the home to rape the 14-year-old that lived there at knife point. Before he was hired, the contractor passed a background check. So maybe it's possible he had a clean record and simply hadn't been caught yet. It's possible, but it doesn't seem likely. In one instance, a Comcast employee had pending domestic violence charges, an arrest for beating a man with a baseball bat, criminal trespasses, and- What's is, What the fuck is going on in Comcast, bro? Violation. Unsurprisingly, this employee also raped a Comcast client before then throwing her into a bathtub, attempting to electrocute her, and then setting her bedroom up. Nigga, what? Wait. Grape her, threw her in a bathtub, tried to electrocute her, and set her on fire. Set her bedroom on fire. <laughs> my question here, in in no minced words, how the fuck did Comcast miss this? If you have contractors going into strangers' homes, perhaps maybe do the basic of checks to make sure they're safe first. Another contractor, Anthony Triplett, was found guilty murdering of murdering a customer, customer? by strangling her in her bathtub. This was the second murder Triplett was under investigation. For. This was his second murder. Janice Ordridge, who had died in the same manner. So, just to get this straight, Triplett was under investigation. What for the fuck? The she died horrifically, and he was a suspect in her death. And Comcast just let him keep entering people's homes alone. Just, like just letting him enter homes even if he was with somebody else they didn't put him on any leave of any kind they didn't fire him they didn't conduct their own investigation work with police no none of that they just said well the copy whoppies haven't proven it yet so it's that is fine. crazy Allowing because the same contractor i don't trust these contractors going to my crib no more in identical manner too and it's also not as if comcast was not aware either police actually informed the company that he had been interviewed and was a suspect of interest they just appeared hold on, hold on, hold on. other yo i actually process what that meant and maybe you know act on it to protect their customers it's no wonder they ask their employees to compromise their ethics. Comcast compromise their ethics. Their the monopoly and pricing. The pricing is Families crazy. No choice but to work with Comcast, unfortunately. Bro, like especially those living in rural areas. AT&T take what you get. Fiber shit, Gigsby shit costs like 80, bro. Them niggas are charging me like price. 110 a month. Zachary Cohn and Laurel Zenobi learned this the hard way after they closed on a house in Seattle. Like, that shit is You'd crazy. Think that with Seattle being a pretty decently large city, that getting internet wouldn't be super difficult. You hop online, order a box and a router, and it comes to your house, plug it in, and move on. Mm. Instead, the pair learned that Comcast's predecessor company had never actually extended a line to their home, despite neighbors being wired for internet just fine. In order to install the 181 feet of underground cable, they were going to have to pay $27,000. Apparently, the previous homeowners were sharing with the neighbor who didn't want to continue that arrangement any further. And with no competition what in the, the area, fuck? Cohen and Zenobi have been relying on a 4G hotspot ever since. Damn They're niggas the been using 4G hotspot. Position. A software engineer in Washington straight up sold a house he bought because he couldn't get internet there without paying an additional $60,000. Even when he actually tried to work with them, they decided to just not go through with him, leaving him dead in the water and having to take his work to Starbucks. Wow. All these stories might lead you to believe that Comcast had to be good once upon a time. No, Otherwise, the fuck there wasn't, bro. So fuck Comcast. And so much reach, right? Bro, if Comcast was but a person, was like, right? If Comcast, would, let me show you how. Let me show you how to do Comcast. Um. 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 Um, damn, I forgot, bro. If Comcast was a person, I'll let him, I'll, I'll make sure they look like Joe Comcast Swanson. Fuck that. For a variety of reasons. Maybe they cornered the market in a specific product or service, and now they're just so good at what they do that they just gobble up any competition, making it impossible for anyone else to, you know, compete. Okay. On the other hand, some companies like Comcast don't out hustle the competition. 
As Forbes explains, Comcast created agreements with local governments that bar other providers from entering the area. They don't outdo others with stellar service, they just lobby, and they lobby hard. In that fact, is crazy. and this is interesting and depressing at the same time, Comcast lobbies so much that they say disclosing all of their lobbying efforts would be too difficult. It is too so hard. not only do they fail to disclose this- These niggas cheat so much that it's too, too hard to explain it. Companies priorities, but Ooh, TK's like, uh, don't watch TK. Basically null and void. We know they're against net neutrality. Big surprise there, I know. Okay. Which is based on the idea that all data flowing through cable and cell towers should be treated equally as opposed to blocking, throttling, or speeding up those they pick and choose. Nah, that, nah, though, they be throttling the shit out, out of me. Stances because even their investors can't. They be Popular throttling the shit like out of me. Service giant Netflix, no Comcast rules I'm really about to, to like, <laughs> you feel me? I'm really about to they actually dip. Need Comcast to ensure Netflix movies and television shows stream smoothly to Comcast customers, which is basically the equivalent of a bribe. They might I'm really about said, to dip on them hey, niggas. We know you like to throttle companies. Can you make a little teeny tiny exception if we dump this big pile of cash on your lap? And sure, this works well for Netflix when they have millions to throw around, but what about anybody else? What about the competition that can't afford this pay-to-play game? Let's see. Even the NFL has the had its NFL. issues with Comcast too. They've been in disputes about whether or not the NFL networks are a part of basic programming. And what? NFL argues they should be, whereas Comcast wants to charge people an extra monthly fee. An so extra the monthly airing, fee. The league started a marketing campaign aimed at their fans that didn't have access, stating, quote, switch to a TV provider that will bring you NFL network, not hold you hostage. Put down the volume. to say, Comcast was pretty pissed at this and sued yeah. the NFL. Put down the volume. Oh. Though the pair eventually yeah. settled the dispute in 2009. Mm. However, just a couple years ago, they got into, yet again, another oh, argument. No! no. Entertainment studio. I'm being held hostage. Founded by Byron Allen. According to Allen, they discussed Ooh. a deal in which studios founded by Byron Allen. According to Allen, yo, that shit was at 100 percent the whole time. Studios founded by Byron Allen. Who? Another argument. This time with entertainment studios. Oh, I used to watch their shit, the shows and shit. According to Allen, they discussed a deal in which Comcast would carry six of his company's channels before dropping him. They mm. a contract one that Alan had an explicit right to enforce because they decided the shows weren't interesting or distinct enough. Mm. And look, if they change their mind about carrying his programs, then maybe don't agree to do so in the first place. Mm. Well, suddenly, if racism was a key factor here and others believed it was just Comcast being disingenuous. Nah, nah, it's look. both. And it's this both. Is simply the way Comcast is with customers and clients alike. If you don't like it, good luck finding someone else. Not only is that the message they send to websites and other companies, but naturally, it's the message that customers receive too. And because Comcast knows they're too big to be stopped, they seem to take advantage of it at every Fuck time. niggas like I'm racist. In for example, they violated the Consumer Protection Act almost half a million Fuck times. Fuck niggas like I'm they gay. They charged tens of thousands of Washington state residents for their service protection plan without consent. Nigga, I didn't even, I don't even use service. that shit. They didn't request the service, but Comcast charged them anyway. You'd think this would be a pretty straightforward case. Comcast should apologize and take it back, but companies as giant as these don't like to admit wrongdoing, as we've seen plenty of times before. So they hired a team of lawyers to try and fight the Washington State Attorney General. Comcast did not actually win this fight, and they were penalized a whopping nine, nine million, million is crazy. Is a lot of money as individuals, right? But for a company as large as them, it's nothing. It's nothing but still dollars every quarter, not even every year, just every quarter. Paying a fraction of a fraction of that feels not really like a punishment. It just feels like a chore. And sure, I am happy Comcast lost. But I think the attorney general is delusional when he stated, my legal team demonstrated that we're capable of meeting the world's largest corporations in court and winning. Part of my job is keeping giant corporations honest. No, you they can't. Small, every business must <laughs> no, the rules. no. And while it's not you're not him fault, this fine doesn't demonstrate comcast has to play you're not that guy <laughs> it only demonstrates that if you earn enough money you can make your shady misdeeds simply go away oh and do you want to know what's really like depressing about this whole situation too uh this was also the highest trial award in a state consumer protection case 
even before restitution was included, and I still don't think that was enough to change anything. Nah, what the but fuck? this isn't the only massive fine they've been hit with. Because Bro, Comcast is just so, like, I don't know. They were hit with the largest ever FCC cable fine for... Drumroll, please. <laughs> Charging customers for services and equipment they did not ask for. Mm. This civil penalty was just a whopping $2 million, not even a drop in the bucket for Comcast. And it was only enacted after the FCC received over 1,000 complaints. 1,000 so, complaints. That same thing that had Connell Y'all niggas are fucking Sam crazy. So upset when he was getting sent and charged hundreds, if not thousands of dollars worth of equipment he did not want. It turns out it's a bit of a habit for Comcast. And it's not as if things with you know, Comcast that were being charged extra for were even worth it, right? Remember the service protection program? It's supposed to cover problems with cables inside the home. Comcast themselves describe it as a monthly fee that gives you protection against charges for service appointments to diagnose and repair installed in home wiring for their services. Basically, they claim if you've got wiring issues, this could be worth it. Yet, if you actually look over what their plan covers, it's a far shorter list and it's more about what they don't cover. When charging their customers $5 a month, Comcast allegedly didn't disclose this and instead effectively cost half a million people roughly $73 million for a bogus plan. Comcast definitely came out the winner here with only a $9 million fine, so they- Oh shit, I'm dumb. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Okay. Shit. They made off like a fucking bandit. Washington Assistant <clears throat> Attorney General Daniel Davies explained, if you say one thing but you provide another, a reasonable person the is math going isn't to math. The thing that you actually sold them is what you are providing. Mm. Now, of course, there are other smaller, more ridiculous scandals that Comcast has been involved in. One time in 2007, they accidentally aired a hardcore pornography instead of a preschool cartoon, Handy Manny, on the Disney Channel. They've also been sued for the more classic issues that we've seen with businesses, such as wage and hour violations. Okay. And they've been criticized for falsely advertising their internet speeds and failing to report outages. Plus, about oh yeah, oh there, yeah. They attempted to merge that shit right there be pissing me off. Of industry with its own history of bad behavior. At this point, you're probably wondering what goes right at Comcast. Their slow service, lies, false charges, mistreatment of customers and employees. All their service ain't that, that bad. I'm not sure anything does go right. Yet at this point, Comcast seems to be too big to ignore and too massive to shut down. But as their actions influence the entire country, people have started to grow tired of their bullshit and it's starting to show. And before we get into that, to see how the public's opinion of Comcast my... is really nosediving for the worst, and maybe hopefully for some change, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsors. No free sponsors. No free ads. I'm sorry. Now, a few months ago, in quarter two of 2022, Comcast failed to add new internet users for the first time yes! in the entire company's history. Fuck them niggas! They've always grown, but now, maybe with more options arriving, people just don't want the headache of Comcast anymore. At least, I'd sure like to hope that's the reason, because it would make them seem less indestructible. Articles from The Atlantic and The Verge offer a different perspective, writing that Comcast is simply too big to really function or operate in any sort of consistent manner. The Verge interviewed 100 current and former employees in 2014, trying to understand Comcast's lousy reputation. And while they repeatedly heard that the obsession over sales and understaffed technicians are at the root of the issues, okay. there are a few other important things to note here. Depending on what part of the country you're in, you get different prices and different rules. In some areas, you can't get a technician if you're behind on payments. In other areas, that's not a problem. Even the pricing varies. Maybe, and this is a big maybe here, this could work if there was proper communication and each branch handled a selective group of customers. Organization is key, right? Mm. Well, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about, my nigga. Like, I, quote, I ain't gonna lie. Division at one point reported to Boston. Then they were reporting what? to Denver. When I left, they were reporting to Denver as an engineer who worked for Comcast from 2000 to 2011. 
these different regions with their differing prices, rules, and more, actually a little like, weird. Might as well be different companies, not just different branches. That shit a little a weird. Company internally fractured, with no single person really knowing what rules they follow. Bro, bro, bro. I be calling them at 2 p.m. And, and a random ass Indian guy is picking up my call. Like, what the fuck? I think there's a few universal rules, obviously. Like, you know, don't treat your customers poorly. You know, maybe don't make their billing name asshole brown. Like, there's really no excuse for that, regardless of where you are. But these employees are set up for failure by having to work within such a broken system. Now, Comcast has promised that they're trying to work on that, but when they have 83,000 employees, 22 million subscribers, and $64 billion in revenue each year, changing anything feels like a monumental task. So then what happens next? Comcast's slogan is that the C is for change, but they don't seem willing or no, snap. either. All over the world, you can find faster internet. Ooh. In Singapore, Romania, Thailand, Chile, South Korea, and even in Liechtenstein. Not only that, but the internet in South Korea is also cheaper and more reliable too, in large part thanks to a healthy, competitive environment. According to publicknowledge.org, in South Korea, installing only internet in the household is cheaper than bundling up with other services like cable, whereas in the US, ironically, it often costs more to install only the services like internet that a household may need. In other words, we could be doing better for ourselves if it weren't for monopolies, poor quality, corporate greed, Effectively, you know, all the things that Comcast stands for. You know what's crazy? We talk about how this With shit, like, said, how they be throttling shit, bro. Them niggas are throttling my Wi-Fi right now.